Hello, this is Alex from the National Weather Service in Pocatello with your Southeast Idaho weather hazard planning briefing for Friday, March 8th. Well, as we take a look at the satellite picture here, we can see some enhanced moisture over northern Nevada and southern Idaho. There's a little bit tough to see, but there's an area of low pressure there We're just off the Washington coast and another area of low pressure off of California. This one will move overhead over throughout the next 24 hours or so. This one back here over Washington is only going to very slowly move over the Idaho Panhandle through Saturday and then move south over California by the end of the weekend. So that will keep some snow showers around through at least Saturday. First, let's take you through the forecast radar here. Uh, this will take you uh, th through at least tomorrow. So by, by this morning, we do expect snow to be falling in these blue colors here. The darker the blue, the heavier the snow. So it lines up along the 86 corridor, along the I-15 corridor. It's where we expect snow to be falling. And then eventually, by the time we get to the afternoon, snow will really start to pick up over the Bear Lake area and southeast highlands. As we go through the evening, that snow gradually moves off to the east. We may see some additional redevelopment farther north uh, towards, Island, uh, uh, towards Idaho Falls and Rexburg as we get into the evening. And then those snow showers kind of linger there. Uh, from Rexburg north to the Montana border, including Island Park, pretty much through the night and into Saturday morning. I mentioned earlier, with that low pressure system hanging around through Saturday, that will help trigger some additional snow showers on Saturday, but mainly in the mountains. And then those will gradually uh, taper off, it looks like, as we go through Saturday night, leaving a dry Sunday and Monday. Okay, let's switch back over to the to the briefing here and take you through the rest of the slides. Uh, here's a look at the main impacts. We showed you the snow showers that are expected for today and for tonight and also for Saturday. Sunday into Monday we're expecting dry conditions with snow showers likely not moving back in until Tuesday. And the highest impacts today will be in the mountains, although there could still be some difficult travel over the Snake Plain as well. So the combination of snow and blowing snow will be most likely worst over the southern highlands south of the Interstate 84 corridor in that Yale to Sweetser Summit area. Uh, tonight, the snow tapers off across the Snake Plain in eastern Magic Valley, but continues, as we showed you, for areas north of Idaho Falls towards the Montana border. Some snow showers lingering on Saturday, mostly for the mountains. Then Sunday looks like a dry day, same for Monday, and then Tuesday, it looks like late in the day we start to see some snow showers enter the western areas, uh, particularly of the, around, uh, let's say, the Sawtooth and the rest of the central mountains. Take a look at the snowfall forecast for today to give you an idea of where and when the heaviest snow will fall for this morning that's mostly south of the 84 corridor over Cache County, and then by this afternoon, the heavier snow transfers to the higher terrain areas along and east of I-15 with some heavier snows uh, in the Bear Lake vicinity this afternoon. We get into the, this evening, that begins to shift farther north, and by overnight, the heavier snow is mostly confined to the Island Park area south towards the Ashton Hill with just some lighter snow showers outside of those areas. And then for Saturday, Light amounts, but briefly heavy snow showers are possible in the mountains. They should be brief, only last for a few minutes, and dropping down these, these lighter amounts. Uh, for winds, we are expecting those strong gusty winds today over the eastern Magic Valley and southern Snake Plain and eastern Highlands, or excuse me, southern Highlands as well, maybe even extended over towards Bear Lake. So that could cause some blowing and drifting snow and low visibility for the passes. The notoriously windy area around Yale could see some gusts to 50 miles per hour this afternoon and evening. But in this particular case, the gusty winds don't linger all that long behind this system as they gradually wind down by Saturday morning. Still some breezy, breezy southwest winds around 25 miles per hour across the Snake Plain, but we, we've lost the, uh, the windy conditions by then. And by Saturday evening, the winds are forecast to calm down quite a bit. Sunday, we switch the wind directions around and have the northeast winds across the Snake Plain instead. So maybe some local blowing snow there as a result of that. And those same uh, conditions should continue into early week. For temperatures today, we're expecting those to get into the mid and maybe even upper 30s along the 86 and 15 corridors. Uh, so that should minimize some of the impacts 
of the snow, but maybe still some slushy conditions. And even the southern highland valleys should get above freezing as well. Now the passes and and the upper slope should stay below freezing. Uh, it's a little bit cooler tomorrow. Similar, but a couple of degrees cooler. And uh, very similar for Sunday and really through midweek. It's looking at these cooler temperatures. These are what we typically see around the start of February. So certainly below average. And the low temperatures staying below average as well as you see here by Saturday morning all areas falling back below freezing and well below freezing for Sunday morning. That'll conclude the briefing for today. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback, you can send those to the phone number or email you see here. Thank you.